Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing the latest release of LOL Miner, which is version 1.34 on a Windows 10 PC. There are many different coins that you can mine with LOL Miner, and if we take a look at MinerStat, here are some coins that are available to be mined. To begin the setup for LOL Miner, you're going to want to download the latest release, and I'm going to show you how to do that, so let's get started. So we're going to begin at our desktop of Windows 10. I'm going to open up my browser and we're going to be at the LOL Miner official homepage. Now this is on GitHub. The URL is up here at the top. I'll make sure I put that in the description below so you can find it easily. So the latest release is actually version 1.13 a that was released about 23 hours ago, but this is an update for Linux users. We're using the windows version. So we want to scroll down a little bit more to version 1.34, we're gonna click on that. It was released 11 days ago. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit further and we're gonna be downloading the Windows 64-bit version right here, which is this zip file. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna save as. And I'm gonna make sure I save it on my desktop inside my mining folder right here. Now, if you don't have a mining folder that's been added to the Windows exclusion list, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps to do that. You want to make sure you save it in an excluded folder because Windows might see it as a threat and try to remove some of the files. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and you can see that I'm getting a warning here and click on show all. And we want to make sure that we keep dangerous file and then keep anyway. So here it is. It's been saved and I can close out of this window. And now what I want to do is I'm going to open up my mining folder right over here and I have the downloaded file right here. We're going to right click on it and I'm going to say extract all. I'll leave the default path so it's going to be a folder within it. And here it is. Let me just close that out and we'll double click on it. And then what we want to double check in here is to make sure that we have the LOL miner executable file, which is right here, the config file, and we have a couple other over here. If you don't have the LOL executable file like I do here, uh, it might have been removed by a security software or by Windows Defender. So you want to make sure that you do have it. And if you haven't added their folder to an exclusion list, you want to make sure you take care of that right now. Now, as you can see, you have a lot of different batch files listed right over here. And uh, any one of these are fine. We're going to be editing the Ethereum batch file right now, which is this one. And the only reason why we're doing that is because Ethereum is right now still one of the more profitable coins to mine. So I'm going to right click on that. And then I'm going to say edit. And this is a normal warning. We're gonna click on more info and then run anyway. Inside the batch file, we have four things that we're gonna be changing. We're gonna be changing the server address, the port for the server, the wallet address, and then the worker name. Now the worker name is optional and it's only useful to edit this to something unique. If you're gonna be running multiple uh, GPUs, it just makes the things easier to identify it. So I'll be editing everything so you can watch me go through the whole steps. The next thing that we need to do is find our server information. So I'm gonna open up my browser again, and I'm gonna head over to ethermine.org. And this is one of the biggest uh, pools on the planet right now for Ethereum, so that's why I'm using it. It's very popular. We're gonna click on start mining over here, scroll down just a bit, and then we get our server information. Now the batch file is asking for two servers. They can see pool one and pool two. So I'm going to be using the one for North America because that's where I am. And I have the East Coast one, which is going to be the closest one to me. And then I'll be using this as my second backup one, the US West. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to copy the server information right there. I'm just going to make sure that I'm just highlighting this section over here. I'm not removing the colon or the equal sign over there. So I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to paste in the server. And the next thing that I want to change is the server port. Right now they have 2020 and I want to go over here and double check and it's 4444. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to change that to 4444. And now we're going to do the second pool server, which is this one. I'll delete it and I'll add in the second one. I'm going to highlight that, copy it, go back in here and I'll paste it in. There we go. Now it's very important that you want to have the equal sign and the colon. You don't want to remove those. We'll change the port as well. If you do remove those, then you're going to have connectivity issues for sure because it's not going to know where to go. So the next thing that we're going to be editing is going to be the wallet address. Now the wallet address is very important that you change it. If you leave the default one, uh, then the person that created this file is going to get paid with their wallet. And if you use mine, I'm going to get paid for whatever work you're doing. So you definitely don't want to use anybody but your own. Now, if you don't have a wallet, you can check out this video for Exodus 
And it's a free wallet that you can install on a Windows 10 PC, and it's very simple to use. And I'll link that in the description for you. So I'm gonna highlight that, I'm gonna delete it, and I'm gonna put in my own wallet address. Right over here, you wanna make sure that you leave the period and you leave the equal sign as well. If you delete either of those, you're gonna run into problems, so make sure they're there. And the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change the name of the worker. I'm just gonna highlight this, and I'm gonna delete it, and I'll put in my own name. So now the, the batch file for mining Ethereum has been completed. The only thing that we need to do is save our changes. So we'll go to file and save, and then we can close out of the window. And we're back at the mining folder where all our batch files is. And here is the Ethereum batch file that I just edited a moment ago. And we can go ahead and double click on it. And the miner is gonna start running. And there it is. Everything that we entered in is gonna populate like the server address, the wallet, and the worker name. So that's how you install LOL Miner on a Windows 10 PC. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you thought this video was useful, please give me a like. Also subscribe if you're looking for other tutorials. I have many more coming out. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.